from the Bath Authority Studios. The buzzer. The home of the buzzer. buzzer. This is 100.7 WMMS. Cleveland. Call the Alan Cox Show. The buzzard. The buzzard. Alan Cox Show on the buzzard. 216-578-1007 or 1-800-348-1007. Three five one nine two. Send me a text. AlanCoxShow.com for everything else. Want to see where Bill and I are going to be out for the Bud Light Mini Hoops Challenge? Hit the um, uh, promotions page there, whatever it is, events, all that, because uh, we're going to be out all kinds of places. Uh, getting you qualified for that trip to Vegas, the uh, Mini Hoops Finals there, like Papa Shot. Those will happen um, out in Las Vegas, and one person from all of our appearances. We'll uh, get out there, and you'll compete for the $10,000 grand prize. So if you want to find out where we will be out to qualify you through your own Papa Shot skills, uh, go to WMMS.com and hit the calendar there, and you'll find out where we're going to be. Bill will be out Thursday and Friday, and I'll be out Saturday. And I also have a show in Lorraine on Saturday if you want to come out to that. Go to BillSquire.com, get tickets for that. Love going out to Lorraine. Um, okay, so do you want to dig into the stairwell farts here? Are these offerings oh, that um uh these are you know let's do it. Let's I mean they're not it. gonna they're, they're not, not they're not gonna they're not the new ones. They're not the new they're not as good as the old one. Mm-mm. But I gave I gave you something. And there were so many I farted so much this weekend. <laughs> Because you were trying. He was but, really yeah, trying. And and then these ones are the ones that I was near the stairwell. Whoa. So, like, anytime I had to fart over the weekend when I was home, i go to the stairwell. You'd run out And these the are my best, too. I had one that was so close to being, but it got out in the hallway, not the stairwell. You couldn't even hold it in. It, it was it was a, it was a just ready to go. Yeah, because these this is the one that he's trying to beat. This is a couple years old. Bill's stairwell fart is pretty tough to beat. <laughs> that one was pretty good. Neither of these are going to replace that. All right. Ew, that sounds so wet. Well, the acoustics, you know. I mean, the acoustics that's why are we're out there so doing good it. in that stairwell, though. I mean, that was you want to hear that one again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's the other one. Right. That one kind of feels like it had a silencer on it, almost. Yeah, like I said, that one was like ones, a kind of a big bubbly one. They weren't. They weren't getting where I wanted them to be. So I don't think these are gonna be. I, I just wanted to give. The customers. I something. understand. Thank you for your service. But I, mean, I will get that, on to something. But these are not the official farts that I want out there. They're just. This little, is trial and error. Yeah, these are just a little uh, to, to get you a little moistened up. <laughs> <laughs> that one is just strange. It's really weird. Bloip. Right. Bloip. <laughs> I don't right even know. It. Do it again. What that. <laughs> what is that? Bleak? I mean, if you were playing Guess My Fart with someone, they would never they win. They would never that. guess that one. No, They'd never no win. that one. Uh, Brian and I went to Barrio for dinner last night, and I know better than to get queso. And it's not necessarily at any Mexican place, but the Barrio has a, a like a soft shell, hard shell combo called the Green Goddess, which is a hard shell and Ooh, then queso and guac and then the soft shell around it. And it's so good. It's like my favorite thing. So I got that, <clears throat> and then we get home later, and I went in the bathroom, and I turned the fan on, hoping that he wouldn't hear it, and I ripped a lot. It was loud. Like, it made me giggle. It was so loud. And then I just hear Brian laughing hysterically from the kitchen, and he was like, what the hell was that? And I came out. I was like, did you hear that? He was like, the neighbors heard that. He's like, that's the <laughs> loudest thing I have ever heard. No fan is going to cover that up. Right. Well, I was trying. I was like, you know, run the water, turn the fan on. But he, as soon as it came out, he started cracking. I could hear him from the kitchen cracking up. 
So it was a loud one. Good old uh, queso. Yeah. Are you? Does your body have any allergies that you could feed into? Uh, not really. But like I said, there were good farts over the weekend. And but so so remember how I talked about the lobster roll and how I thought that would be the one. So again, yeah, yeah, that had, was going to be ammo for. The- had some good farts from the lobster roll. They were just not loud. They just reeked. They were terrible. They smelled so bad. Silent and deadly. But they were. Uh, I mean, they were. They weren't. They weren't quite silent, but they just weren't. They just, they just smelled. Stunk. Yeah, they yeah. stunk so bad. Hmm. Were you by yourself? Did you have to? Was this a situation where you had to? Yeah, I was by myself. Run some water and turn the no, fan. No. You probably don't do that when your girl's over, do you? Are you running the water and turning the fan on if you're in there? And no, I just. You are I'm, a fart your farts guy. I'm a, so I'm, well, like, but but within the confines around, of any, I don't well, try to fart around. Here. No, I was gonna say within the out, within but, the confines yeah, of I, a relationship, I, I would think the maybe. I door and like usually the there's like music or a TV on or something, so mm-hmm. I don't have to. But when I fart, like it's it's usually not anything that I have to cover up when she's over. But Mary and Brian have that thing where they don't do that in front of each other. It's more his thing than mine. Yeah. I mean, I don't do that in front of Gwen. I uh, let one out, a silent one, because we went to dinner, and then we went to the grocery store after. And um, it just kind of happened. It came out. It was quiet, but it was In the grocery store? Yeah, it smelled bad. And Brian and I were sitting there having a conversation, and he was like, Did you crop dust him? I mean, how did it? No, we were just standing next to each other, and he just goes, Are you kidding me? (laughs) He, like, (laughs) walked away. He's like, Dude, it smells like you're dying on the inside. Like, there's something wrong with you. Oh. But. Well, anyway, uh, Bill's most recent attempts at outdo. Now, let's be clear: you may never outdo that first one, right? And you're certainly not under no obligation to do it. Because like, there were some that were so good that they just weren't in the stairwell, and so I'll get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna top that. Mm-hmm. I got goals. Okay. Oh, did you do a round of uh, mini hoops? Did you? What was your score? I did. Um, I was not going to get anywhere near where you were. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was okay. I was really locked in. That was before I had a couple of drinks. What'd you get to? Um, 478. I don't know if that's That's good. That's not what you got. No, I probably got to maybe 36 or something. Um, I got to. But for me, that's real good. That's good. That's good. I got to 110. Yes. And that for me is not great. Well, yeah. My my all time high is 203. Yeah. Because you had one of these in your apartment, yeah. and yeah, you yeah. were really killing it. That's all I home. did during the pandemic, because I just play that all the yep. time. I get home from the, doing the show and just play that. Yeah. No, so it is fun. It is I so mean, fun. I mean, I'd love for somebody from Northeast Ohio to uh, win the whole thing the in guy, Vegas. Who was the high scorer of the contestants you had? No clue. Someone hit 79, which was pretty impressive. That was yeah. pretty good. Well, because you keep getting time added when mm. you, you know, yeah. if you keep doing well, and so... Um, again, my uh, mine was not a high volume mm-hmm. uh, situation, but uh, oh, ho- hopefully a garage bar on Saturday. I'll be a garage bar on Saturday. Yep, uh, have always have a lot of fun out. out there, so I'm not worried about that a bit. But Faith um, will take care of you. She's a uh, she's the GM there, and she's very excited to have you there. Well, as long as they take care of our audience, they don't need they to take will. care of me. Um, okay, so um, uh, the those uh, stairwell farts, Bill's still working on them. Um, and we've only circled back around it simply because that customer submitted their own. Uh, the Mary does not like. She it's is so wet. very, it's very just upsettingly wet. V- <laughs> it's the wrong amount of wet in Bill Squire's <laughs> yeah, parlance. Right, yeah. <laughs> it really is. It really I mean, is. it's oh, a, yeah. to the point where it sounds like the structure of his body is different. Right? Like maybe he's just created differently. Uh, there seem to be more surfaces colliding with each other than would normally. But I don't know. You listen to us on iHeartRadio. Tell me where. If you're from out of state, I heard from one of our bureau chiefs in the great city of Boulder, Colorado. I heard from Nick, uh, who sent me the article that volunteers scraped. 50 pounds of gum from underneath the seats at Red Rocks. Ooh. Am I the only one who's been to Red Rocks? I think so. I have not. You know, it's carved into the hill there, and uh, hence the natural beauty they're trying to maintain 
uh, the natural beauty and the acoustic integrity of Red Rocks uh, there up in the mountains. And so uh, people, uh, Gwen took me there to see Steely Dan many years ago uh, for my birthday. And we got caught in the middle of one of those June hailstorms. So we didn't even see the full show. Everybody was was running for cover, and there really isn't any. You know, there's a handful of trees that might line the outer edges of the pavilion, but you're really just, that's the allure of it. You're in a big open air space. And so when something like that happens, because the altitude, you're going to get hail in June. But Nick out there in Boulder sent me the thing that um, they had. I never understood the putting the gum under things, whether it was a chair. I mean, I swallow gum. I've never had any. I'm a gum chewer, but I always swallow it. I mean, I'll, I might spit it out. You know, if I'm done and there's a receptacle there, I will spit it out. But I never understood the taking it out of your mouth and putting it under something. Right. Especially something that is furniture. Yes. That's, it's it's a wild thing to do. I never understood it. I'm with Just you. swallow it. I, I don't. Well, that was big gum pushing it out there that you can't <laughs> swallow gum because it's going to last well, stay right, for but, seven years or some crap like that, which right. is dumb. It's but once not true. You, once you were older than five, you knew that wasn't true. There's, so There's a lot of people that still. That can't be right. Yes. I mean, you Red Rocks doesn't people, even. Right? It, it, it's funny, huh? You've met people. Yeah, sadly. Mm. Um, gum isn't even permitted inside the amphitheater, but they're like, you can't prevent that. How, how do you right. prevent that from, you know, it's in people's purses and it's in their pockets and blah, blah, blah. So they have an organization called Friends of Red Rocks, and uh, they collected um, a, a bunch of volunteers not to get out there. That was just one year's worth, by the way. They do this annually. And so in 2023... Uh, 50 pounds of gum was scraped off of um, the seats. Here, I'll show you. If you want to look at this, there's a oh. little picture of the receptacle with some of the gum in it. That's so gross. That they just uh, uh, got under there and, and scraped underneath the seats. There's people lying on their backs with uh, sharp implements and uh, getting the chewed gum out from underneath. How much money, Mary? No. Do I have to, no. <laughs> to chew I any can't. of the gum? Yeah. You, you take gotta, a, you you gotta, take a fist you to, full yeah, you have to take, and you, chew it. You hold it up and take a bite out of it like a piece of pizza. Mm -mm. No. A hundred grand. Okay. And last year was a record year for Red Rocks, by the way. They had 1.4 million people attend Red Rocks in 2023. And, um, you know, they're like, look, dried gum doesn't really, it's not heavy, obviously, but they'd like to see people put it in paper. And, you know, but there, there are more and more ways to have gum that doesn't, they don't, they're not wrapped. You get the little plastic things that just have, that's what I get. I get the things that just have gum in them, right? You don't, you're not unwrapping yeah, a I stick of gum. Yeah. And so uh, the friends of Red Rocks want to keep that um, pristine. And it is beautiful. And they do cleanups um, once a month where this group meets and goes and does it. But in 2023, they scraped out 50 pounds of gum from Red Rocks. Um, hey, Steve. Good, hello. What's going on, Steve? Um, I'm currently eating some Taco Bell. Yeah. Heard the, the, fart, the fart sounds. Bill, I will be at your show this weekend. I'm in, currently in the rain. Hey, what's up? Oh, is this uh, Steve N? Yes. What's up, Steve? I am going to challenge you. I'll send it via email or whatever. After the bell, you'll get a sound clip. I'm going to throw my hat in that ring. Okay. I'm, I'm coming for, you know what they It's not really a ring, though. You, it's it, it's a He's throwing his hat know, in the sting ring, as it were. I mean. Yes. Yeah. You know, pink ring? I mean, uh, Bill is just trying. His only competition is himself. No, I but, know, I, but, but I want I want you to when you play a fart sound, it's my fart sound. He wants to try and usurp me. I see. So I like that. Yeah. That maybe that'll so, get my uh, well, my farts are, going better. A little bit of competition. If, mm -hmm. if you're up for the challenge, I'm absolutely get, up for uh, it. 
Give me about an hour. We'll you let know. the, the bell come Mary, seven Mary, in. Mary's always talking about how iron, <laughs> iron sharpens <laughs> iron, farts yeah. sharpen farts. <laughs> Give me about an hour, he says. All right, well, we'll, we'll be waiting with bated breath, Steve. No, absolutely. All Take right. care, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. There's Steve and Lorraine. Who's, now, again, I'm not going to replace yours with a listener's. Right, but if you get a good one, yeah. you're going to play it. I'll play it, but again, your only competition is yourself. I didn't take the, the, one, the one that the customer sent me and replace yours with it. Well, You will replace yours, or not. Or not. Right. You might come to me and go, I can't, I can't do, it. do it. I can't do it. I'm defeated. Can't. You might not top that. That one's so good. <laughs> Steve might not top that. That one's pretty crazy. It's just so, 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 wet. so <laughs> like he had he had to have a problem. Yeah, you know. But it's not a problem if you're at home. It's only a problem when you're out. <sighs> if you can go in, you know, and run your undergarments through a. Um, you know, strip mine wash cycle, you'll be okay. You're out. And I speak as someone who's pooped my pants in public. I've done it. You got to get home and quick. I've got to take a break if you want to send me a text. 35192. I will have passes for you. Uh, let me tell you sp- precisely what this is. A family four-pack to experience the Titanic artifact exhibit at COSI 